hello everyone welcome back it's me jenny it's been a little second since i have filmed a video it's actually been like a week and a few days which is not forever but it feels like it's been a second i have been a little sicky for a few different reasons which is why i haven't been posting so i'm sorry for that but i wanted to do a get ready with me today because i really haven't done one in so long i'm gonna do my makeup and then show you what i've been doing to my hair lately and then put on an outfit i'm gonna start with this ursa major golden hour recovery cream which is a really nice face lotion that smells really yummy that i've been using I just washed my face with the Pete Reef Co. cleanser, which I really like, which I've been trying. And yeah, so I'm using this. I've also been getting Thai into moisturizing, which it's so strange to me that so many, not general, generalizing, but maybe just like straight men, guys, boys, like never develop like a skincare routine, which is kind of weird to me. So I've been like giving him moisturizers and stuff to like put on his face every day because he needs moisturizing too. So yeah, after I moisturize, I use the Perfecting Skin Tint. My routine has definitely changed since the last one I made. I feel like I've been putting like, especially this semester, like a little bit more effort i like gauge time in semesters which is kind of funny because i don't necessarily mean school but like just the past four months or so i think it's because it's winter and i just like when my skin looks a little bit better and like has a little bit of help from bronzer and yeah i've just been trying a little bit more not that you need makeup i usually don't wear makeup to school at all this is what i've been doing for like videos and stuff i always go in with the flex concealer as well for like any blemishes that have popped up let me know if you guys like these kind of videos um i also will be vlogging a lot coming up if you guys miss that i'm also gonna do a what i eat in a day because it's been a second i've been making some really yummy food so that's coming up soon and thursday i have a very fun video i always say it's gonna be like a short video and then it just takes me longer because i'm chatting and talking so i'm using the make dew pot in bronze one which this is one of my favorite products some of these products i'm using do have beeswax in them so if you don't use products with beeswax i can mark which ones are fully vegan but this one's really nice and i feel like it just sits on my skin and makes it look really dewy and i look tanner than i am speaking of tans i'm going to puerto rico in a week and a half with tyler and i'm so 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 excited because i haven't done like a full-blown trip it feels like in a while and it's my spring break i've never been to puerto rico so if you guys have recommendations we're gonna be in Rincon for some of it and then we'll be in san juan for some of it but we are renting a car so we really want to like go see everything as much as we can and i'll be filming some stuff while i'm there now I'm using this RMS Living Luminizer Highlighter, which I think is really pretty, which I got from Full Lane, I think, a while ago, but it's a nice little creamy. As you guys can notice, I use like mostly cream-based products, just naturally. I feel like they sit better on my face and like make me look more dewy, which I feel like I'm always going for. And I have been using this Glossier Play highlighter in deep copper as like a bronzer and it's actually really nice but I'm also really upset about this product slash this line which I'm really praying to God that they take everyone's feedback and actually make some changes and listen to their customer because yeah most of you guys have probably heard but... The packaging is just kind of ridiculous on this where it's packaged in this little like holographic baggie and then put into a box just like serves zero purpose which really pissed me off when i opened it because i obviously did not realize it was going to come like that and i hope they like start making the pink bags optional so if glossy is out there listening i love them for so many reasons obviously but it, this was like a mistake on their end i would say packaging wise because it just really felt so unnecessary next one moment 
gonna use this little mirror because I definitely cannot do eyeliner using a camera. I've just been doing like a little swipe of liquid eyeliner. This brand is a brand that like literally one of my professors gave to me, which is weird. Their marketing strategy was like to send out a bunch of free product and the name was like keep or drop and like have people vote if they should make it or not. The product is actually really good and I did check that it's cruelty free with the brand. But I think Kat Von D is the one that I was gonna buy actually until I got this one for free from them. Yeah, so I just like put on a little tiny wing these days and then I've been curling my lashes because I've been watching those Vogue videos, like the Vogue get ready with me videos and all of them <laughs> always curl their lashes. So I was like, hmm, maybe this is something that I should be doing. So I've started doing that. And yeah, for my eyebrows, I just do a little boy brow and flick it up. I should probably trim them because they're getting really long. Just like that. Not too shabby. So I really like just try to focus on like making my skin look dewy and nice. And then I usually don't do anything much to my eyes. And if I'm feeling like it, I use this Generation G Glossier Lip Tint in Zip. Uh, is my favorite one. I just kind of like dab it on. Using any leftover product, put a little on my cheeks. Oh, nice. So yeah, that's the makeup look that I have been doing most of the time. I don't really stray from this. Like sometimes I will do less, but I never really do more, I would say. <laughs> yeah, super easy. It usually takes me like five minutes if I'm not talking to a camera. And my hair always looks a little bit frizzy because it's naturally kind of curly and wavy and then when I brush it out it gets kind of frizzy but I also like brushing it out and then everyone's like your hair is damaged but I'm like I just brush my curls I don't know so I'm heating up my curling iron I really don't do my whole head but I'll show you what I do with my bangs because I feel like they need more attention so this is just my hair when it's air dried. I took a shower yesterday and air dried it. I think I did my bangs yesterday, but they're kind of like too floppy now. So I'll show you what I do. So the technique I recently learned, I can't even remember where I saw this. I think it was on another Vogue <laughs> Get Ready With Me. But the technique is to, I've been curling my bangs this way. But really, if you have short bangs like me, like my bangs go like this. For everyone who always asks me the technique to make them kind of do this fun little wave that i think looks very like retro and cute is to take the curling iron and curl them inward like that so it's just like an old curling iron that i've had for, since high school so like this just curl and like leave some of the end out and as you can see it does that fun little wave now one side is always harder than the other, so this side is always harder and like sometimes doesn't turn out as good. Okay, it actually turned out better than the other side. So see that? That's what I'm looking for. So yeah, curling like inwards instead of outwards, which I always just like assume that outwards made more sense. But this actually looks better in my opinion. So that's what I do in the mornings if I'm like doing my hair for a specific reason. I don't do this always, but again, like if I want to look good for something. And then I'll just add a few random curls throughout, like maybe like three random curls on each side. If my hair is like too frizzy or something like that. But yeah, that's basically all that I do. wide leg -like pants that I found on magnetism shop on Etsy I always find the best pants and just like everything on there so I'll link that below my Cole Haan vintage boots this really fun 
printed sweater that I thrifted in California and my favorite of all time like green fuzzy wool jacket that I thrifted I think in Long Island but everyone asked me about this in one of my last videos but I've been wearing it all the time I feel like spring like transitioning into spring is when I get to wear all of my really fun jacket so this is my outfit this is my look this is my hair hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to let me know down below and otherwise i will see you guys on thursday with a new video